So I would like to share now the power of movement, particularly when students are learning to drum. And I use this method all the way with my very young learners, all the way up to my seniors. And I love the idea that it's waking up the brain when you're crossing the midline, but it's also calming down the brain. So there's three primary ways to cross the midline. So we're gonna start with the first one, which is just forward and back. So when I'm drumming with the students, we go in the middle, bass, bass, dum, dum, bass, bass, dum, dum. So you can join me, join me, or I invite you to go knee, knee, thigh, thigh, body drum works as well, because it's really about the movement and the engagement. Now once we have it moving, it's really important to sing over it. Then we drop into that kinesthetic experience without thinking about what we're doing. So here we go. I'll give you a call. Just call it back. Hey, 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 ah. Good. Ah, ma, ma, hey, ah, ah. Ah, ma, ma, hey, ah, ah. Hey, ah, sa, ya, hey, ah, ma, ma. Hey, ah, sa, ya, hey, ah, ma, ma. Oh, yo, yeah, yeah. So after a period of time, students relax, they get more focused, and this is a wonderful thing to do in the beginning of a music class, but also, I think, in any curricular area, to get students to draw on desks, to calm down, to focus. This could be used anywhere in the school community. I think these tools are fabulous also to develop a sense of wellness. So we'll explore that in a little bit. Second one is, so we cross the midline forward and back. The second one is side to side. And so a nice way to do this, and I'll show you on my body first, if you're working on your body, is you've got the knees and your thighs. So you still make sure you have the movement. So we go knee and then back, back. Other knee, back, back. And it's really nice if you can think of a name or a fruit or something that has three syllables. I love to use somebody's name. So what if we did Christopher? If I had a Christopher in the group, I would ask you as a group, hey, does anybody have a three-syllable name? So now you're thinking person instead of number. Very important piece of this. So we go Christopher, Christopher. So the big B is on a knee and really accentuate the crossing the midline from side to side. Christopher, Christopher. Okay, so keep on going. If we got a drum, we'll go bass, tone, tone, walking hands, just like you would have walking feet. Here we go. Christopher, 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 Christopher. Good. And then I might sing something over. Ishe, Olua. You got to try? Ishe. Great. Kole Bajayo. Kole Bajayo. So I've got this dance and then keep the dance alive. And you can start to play. And we build from there. So that's the second cross the midline, side to side. So now we have forward, back, side, side. The third one was one I hadn't thought about to my friend Eve Kodiak was presenting at an ORF conference many years ago, and she was talking about neurological development in young children. And she said, Mary, come on in. You know that your drumming is crossing the midline three ways. I always knew about the forward, back, and side to side. And she said, the up, down. And she said, when you do Calypso, you are actually riding up and down in your seat. And I went, oh, I am. So let's try that. I like to start with the students. And again, if you're on body drum, and you can do this with your students too, um, I would go knee, thigh, knee, thigh, it's Calypso, it's. And, I, and it is an entire dance as I introduce Calypso. So here we go. And it's Calypso, it's Calypso. 
so with young children or with anyone, I like to say ride. So they really have the dance of the up and down midline cross. And then I'll sing ah, and see if they can call it back. Here we go. Tingaleo, tingaleo, run my little donkey run, run my little stop I ask the kids to say to notice how they feel and they'll say oh you know I can feel vibration in my body absolutely the movement is waking up the brain and getting it engaged and ready to learn but also calming the body so that you're ready to take new information in great tools for education